The Arakawa River flows from Saitama Prefecture toward Tokyo. Kawaguchi City is located on the Arakawa River near the southeastern border of Saitama Prefecture, and this convenient location to Tokyo has contributed to the development of the city as a residential area. In addition, with the promotion of many projects, industry and cultural attractions in the city have been growing. However, with an increase in population, the amount of waste generated has been increasing year by year. Kawaguchi City has addressed this problem by establishing a modern, community-friendly waste thermal treatment facility, the Asahi Clean Center. Such traditional industries as foundries, tree plant nurseries and landscaping services and making fishing poles have made Kawaguchi a well-known city since olden times. Because of the extensive foundry industry here, Kawaguchi has been known as the city of cupolas and has often appeared in movies introducing famous towns. As newcomers to the city increase, the traditional festivals and ceremonies flourish more and more. The first festival of the year is the Hatsu-Uma Drum Festival in March. May is the season for talismans and praying for abundant crops, and a large snake is made of straw for the Jazukuri Festival. August brings the Tatara Festival, the largest festival held in the city. Then, in December, comes the Okame Festival, a year-end event much loved by the local people. In February 2003, Skip City Center was born as a new industrial and business center. This multimedia facility has brought many changes to Kawaguchi, but the old is being carefully retained in a harmonious way attracting people to this city of tradition and advanced technology. However, even greater increases in population are forecast for Kawaguchi in the future, and the amount of waste generated will also continue to increase. Strenuous efforts are being made to cope with this situation. All residents wish to have a safe, pleasant, lively city in which to reside without damaging the natural beauty. To make this widely held desire a reality, in November 2002, the Asahi Clean Center, a new community-friendly waste thermal treatment facility, was completed. The Asahi Clean Center not only keeps the load on the environment down, but also recovers valuable resources from waste. Municipal solid waste is largely classified into four categories. Paper, bottles, cans, pet containers, and similar items that can be reused. Various kinds of organic waste and other unrecyclable waste. Batteries, fluorescent lamps, and other hazardous wastes. And large furniture, bedding, home electric appliances, and similar items. Inside the Asahi Clean Center are located the Recycle Plaza for processing recyclable waste and the gasification and ash melting facility to dispose of household waste. This is ash that remains after household waste is incinerated at the Totsuka Clean Center and is called delivered ash. The Asahi Clean Center disposes of delivered ash. 420 tons of waste and 37 tons of delivered ash can be disposed of per day. Now, let's take a look at the gasification and ash melting facility and various other typical facilities. The waste thermal treatment facility consists of the following four major areas. First is the waste receiving and feeding facility, which receives, stores and pulverizes waste and feeds it with ash to the fluidized bed gasifier at a constant rate. 
Next, the gasification and ash melting facility. The gasifier converts waste into combustible gas and the gas melts fly ash. Third, the heat utilization facility that recovers heat energy from flue gas, reduces emission temperature and generates steam. Finally, the flue gas treatment facility eliminates hazardous substances from the flue gas. Now, let's look at each facility in detail. The collected waste is weighed at the weighing shed and then loaded into the waste pit from the platform. Then, waste is further lifted by a crane into a waste hopper. Waste in the hopper is fed into the shredder where it is broken up into fine pieces, which are then mixed with delivered ash and fed by the waste feeder into the fluidized bed gasifier and ash melter at a constant rate. In the gasifier, the sand is fluidized in a vertically circulating motion with high temperature to decompose the organic substances contained in the waste. Waste fed into the gasifier by the waste feeder is brought into contact with the high temperature fluidized sand bed and is decomposed into gas, char and other substances. The gasifier is kept at 550 to 600 degrees Celsius, which is low enough to prevent dioxin formation, and which is also below the melting point of ferrous and aluminum. The gasifier interior is maintained in a reductive and lean oxygen state. This makes it possible to recover ferrous and aluminum and other inert substances from the bottom of the gasifier without oxidation.